one of the things I really love doing in Lightroom is taking a photograph like this shot in obviously daylight and turn it into a night photo. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's uh, done in Lightroom and a little bit of Photoshop. I'll show you how to do it. I should say when I printed this photo, it printed kind of dark. Uh, so I ended up making a brighter version, which when printed looked more like this. But today we're going to use this photo. A uh, shot nearby, a building I really like uh, in my town. So first thing we'll do, we'll go into Photoshop. Okay, now in Photoshop, we'll duplicate the background layer. I'm going to go to the patch tool to get rid of these street lamps that are coming in from the right side here. And we're going to select the sky so we can replace it. I'll use the quick select tool. And give it a rough selection of the sky. And in the option key, I'm going to go over this part, the little piece of we selected part of the building. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to inverse the selection. So now we just have the building selected. I'll put a mask on this layer. And it looks like we have a pretty clean selection. Uh, one thing I'll do is go to the Selected Mask tool. And using this uh, Refine Edge brush tool, just make sure I, when I did this before, there was some, for some reason, it doesn't always pick up these little pieces up to the top here. So I'll go and quickly put those back. A uh, piece of that fire escape is down there. We'll take out some of the sky that came through there and down here. And that looks pretty good. I'll decontaminate colors just for laughs. And we have our selection. Now the thing we need to do now is find a new sky. I have one here. We'll uh, put this into Photoshop. Hit the V key for the move tool, move it up to this one and back into the middle, let go. Command T for the transform, and we'll really stretch this out. Okay, and I'm going to lower the sky underneath our building layer. Now the Clouds are way too prominent and contrasty. If this was a real night shot, they wouldn't be standing out like that. So we'll uh, go to the camera raw filter and take out some saturation so they're not quite so colorful. Drop it down about a stop. Take out the clarity, blur them a little bit and say, okay. That looks pretty good, but I'm going to flatten this and save it and we'll go back to Lightroom. Okay, this is where we are in Lightroom now. This part of it is fairly easy. Basically, we're just going to lower the exposure, get it kind of dark. We're going to tint some blue in there. Uh, that kind of looks okay. I'm going to use um, the graduated filter, this street is way, just a little bit too bright. Bring that down. And we're on a road to a night shot of this building. Now we need some lights. So we're going to take the radio filter and put in some light. Here's some street lamps there. So that's an obvious place where we need something. So we're going to raise the exposure and put a little light in there. A little more exposure. And we'll tint this one a little towards the yellow side. And when I, if I hit Control and click on this, 
can duplicate it and move it over to the other one. I'm going to do the same thing on the red light. And this little red light down here. And maybe that should be a little brighter. Okay, the windows in this place need some light, so we'll get a new radio tool and put some light in the window. We'll tint it a little bit, so a little warmth in there. And again, we'll duplicate it. Duplicate and move it. I'll duplicate it again and move it down here. Now I think those, that last one's a little bright. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. In fact, all of these are a little bright. So we'll bring them all down just a scooch. Scooch is a technical term, meaning just a little bit. Uh, and we'll duplicate again. Put one over here where this open window is. Those curtains are. Duplicate that one. Maybe lower the brightness on that a little bit. All right. Now we have light. Oh, we missed this large street lamp up here. So we'll do the same thing. We'll <clears throat> give this light a little brightness up the exposure. And I'm going to do another one, a small one. Brighten that a little bit. So we have a little hot spot. Okay, now where else? I think I'm going to do another one down here. Click new. And give that a little bit of light. Make it look like it's coming from there. Um, let's see, maybe some there are the windows in this building here. Ah, look at that. We have a human being there in the window. Duplicate that. somebody there we'll duplicate it again move it over here there's a guy there let's see we'll put a little light in the window no light on him the light on him is a little too bright bring that down and this one actually will Up that way. Get it so we like it. This one is for some reason right there. It's very bright. And I'm going to 
put a little more light in the window over here. That's too much. So we'll bring it down, down a little bit. Okay. So we have some light there. Let's see what that looks like. I think they all might be just a bit too much because we're going to add more light from the street lights. So we'll bring both of these down a little bit. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Now that I'm looking at it, all of these look a little bit too bright. So you just click on this little insignia here. It takes you right back to the old. All right, that looks pretty good. While I'm here, I'm going to darken the street just a bit. I'm going to use the brush. And a little bit more right here. Okay, it's looking good. Um, now we're going to go into Photoshop and make it so there's some light being cast from the street lights. So what we'll do is we'll duplicate the layer. Um, looking at this now, I think what I'll do is with a polygon lasso, I will Let's make a little selection here. Put that up on its own layer. Oh, well, first, let me add a feather, a big feather. We're going to go like 100 pixels. This is a pretty high resolution photograph. Put that on its own layer. And so this is what we have on that layer, just that. I'm going to go to Camera Raw. Bring the exposure way up on it for now and the tint and say OK. It's going to look pretty weird, but uh, we'll just lower the opacity and bring it up so there's just a little bit of light over there. Now we're going to do same thing again go to that layer use the polygon tool this large street lamp is going to be casting a little light here we'll say something like this uh, I will modify it feather go 100 pixels again Put it on its own layer. Go to the camera off filter. And give it some exposure. Maybe not as much. Some tint. It's more of a cold light, but uh, give it a little bit. That's now very bright. We'll go to opacity. Right. I think that looks okay. Both of these might be too bright. Uh, this one is too bright. I think I'm going to lower the opacity on it just a bit. And uh, I think that looks okay. We could put a little, uh, if we... Combine these into one, I think we can. Okay, there's our uh, selection from that light. 
I'm going to put that on its own layer. And that selection will mask it. Go to Filter, Render, Clouds. We'll give it a Gaussian Blur. Oop. Maybe not that much. Maybe a little more than that. Something like that. Let's see what that looks like. We get, get it up to 100%. See if that makes any difference at all. It adds a little bit. Um, I might put some noise in there just to give it a little texture. Um, one percent's good. Let's take a look. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we'll for this. I'll flatten this layer. I might not flatten it otherwise in case I want to come back to it. But for this, I'll flatten it. Save it. Go to Lightroom. And there we are in Lightroom. Then we could play some more if we want to. But probably what I do is bring down the exposure a little bit. Let's close it off some. And see how that looks. I think it looks pretty good. The bright parts might be a little bit too bright. We could try bringing the highlights down a little bit. We'll definitely give it some clarity, which gives it a little more contrast. And I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty realistic. Again, these parts where the people are there on the sidewalk, if it's still a little bright, we can bring it down just a scooch. That might be more like it. Before. After. Before. After. Thanks very much for watching. Give it a try. Find a photo, especially if you have something that has some light sources in it. And uh, it's fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.